So today we're gonna take a look at the cat batteries, the two and the four amp hour, which Canada's had for I think a few years now, but they did just release the five amp hour graphene battery. And now we can actually purchase cat power tools here in America. I picked these up at Lowe's. So the two amp hour, pretty straightforward. Plastic case, you do have five LEDs there for your battery indication. And it is made in China. A little bit bigger footprint, not much than the DeWalt 2 amp hour. 12.5 versus 14 ounces. 4 amp hour, again, made in China. Definitely a little bit higher than the DeWalt. A little bit wider. 16 versus 18 ounces. What's been promoted for years and now you can finally buy it is the five amp hour graphene battery. Again, made in China, but it does have a rubberized base to hopefully prevent scuffing on surfaces. Another thing you'll notice is the latch on this is gray versus the standard battery, it is red. Now over standard lithium, this thing is supposed to have two times the power delivery, three times charging speed, four times the battery life. So between charging speed and battery life, that would be quite a big deal. But I will say the footprint and the weight is definitely a disadvantage in this configuration. Just to show you the difference, look at how much taller, wider, and even longer this graphene battery is versus your standard DeWalt 5 amp hour. And when you compare it to DeWalt's new power stack, width and lengthwise, they're about the same, but that height, it's still quite a bit. Almost double what this 5 amp hour DeWalt power stack is. In comparison to a normal lithium ion battery, here's an 8 amp hour DeWalt, which is near the size of this graphene battery, just to show you how big this battery actually is. Let's go ahead and look at some run times. Now we'll look at the voltage drop under a 30 amp load and see if truly there is higher power delivery with this. So run time here, of course, like normal, I use the load cells there. And overall, yeah, nothing real out of the ordinary. I did compare it to the data I do have for DeWalt. So it's interesting when we look at this voltage drop, the graphene battery did pretty well holding higher voltage. So for the comparison to a DeWalt, yes, I did use a XR battery, not the new five amp hour power stack. This is because the new five amp hour power stack has to communicate with a DeWalt power tool or it'll shut off. So to really see some voltage numbers, we're gonna actually have to use a DeWalt power tool and load it down, which is where the drill dyno will come in handy. But overall, comparing it to the complete line, it has voltage drop near the 15 hour flex volt battery, which is yeah, quite impressive. Some thermal images here with the camera and yeah, you can definitely see the graphene battery is a lot cooler versus the normal lithium ion cells. All right, so let's go ahead and tear them apart. Start with the two amp hour here. Interesting, that's that screen covering. It's just a piece of screen in there. Main circuit board. And then this one's actually running uh, five Samsung 18650-20Rs. Definitely not a bad cell. Overall, a little foam protection there on the sides. Four amp hour.
two pieces of screen. Okay, now these are different. Two amp hour cells, which will give us the four amp hours, but looks like they're just some cheap cell from China. Let me know in the comments below if you know what these cells are. I'll try to do a little more research, but there's no clear real indicator without probably breaking this case open. So the graphene battery. There's definitely a lot more going on here. Look at that solder right there. Interesting. Kind of a hack job here on the case. Oh, must be somebody screwed up in the design. You can see that tab. was actually supposed to be slotted in there. The battery itself, it's sealed up pretty tight. So this is a pouch cell, just like the power stack and flex, but where the difference is, is this is a graphene battery. Charge time, you know, that's another thing they claimed and Actually, I was quite surprised by this. So they currently have two chargers, the DXC4, which is the normal charger that would come with the DX11, DX12 drill, and then the DXC15 charger, which is what I got with the DX13 drill and the graphene battery. Now compared to DeWalt, the fastest charger on the market right now is the DCB118. So I did drain a power stack five amp hour down, threw it on the DCB118, and I ended up with a time of around 46 minutes, which is not bad. But when you look at the charge time with their rapid charger and the graphene battery, 22 minutes. Half the time of what it took to charge this power stack battery. So overall, yeah, the voltage drop seems to be pretty good. Thermals definitely look really good. And that charge time is quite impressive. But I will say the weight of two pounds, six ounces versus one pound, 10 ounces, that's quite a big deal. And the size, yeah, that's a pretty big disadvantage in my opinion. Now I will show you this run here on the drill dyno. But for the results and some more heavier testing, you're gonna have to wait till next weekend. As some of you know, I'm trying to get this dyno dialed right in so we can get accurate data. At the end, looking at this charted data, the RPM is just a little bit off compared to when the torque drops off. So I need to adjust for that and I need to work on a moving graph. But we're definitely at 98% and hopefully everything will be good to go next weekend. And you'll be able to see the test video of the DX12 with the two amp hour, four amp hour and graphene battery. Same can be said for the DX13, and we'll see how they stack up. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.